I have so much questions about that. Number one, the story I heard, you like you, you sent the shit to Drake, but you wanted Monty on the track. Yeah. The second thing, which I still don't get and understand, that song, because I still play it. I got to play it off YouTube. I can't play it on streaming services. Why that shit not on Spotify and Apple? Um, I think, I guess that's the kind of, I guess that's one of the main reasons why we never did a record again, I guess. So Drake, explain how it goes. So you got this record that's going crazy. I was in Cali. I remember, I was at my boy's wedding. Honestly, and man, I, I was real, I was real, uh, I was real big headed, man. Like I was, one thing about me at that time, bro, nobody could tell me shit. Like at that, at that time in my life, like 2015, 2016, you couldn't tell me nothing. And when I said, really, I you see, you seem mad humble. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like you always, always yeah, kind of like, I be chilling, bro. But like, you know, like I felt like, like I had a plan on how this shit was supposed to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that was supposed to be Monty's record. That was Monty's breakthrough record. Like he was supposed to boom. I right, Fetty Wap, Fetty Wap goes on tour. Monty goes on tour. You know what I'm saying? It was it supposed to be Fetty Wap and then Monty on the tour with Fetty Wap? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, nah, it was supposed to be like That's that. the alley then. Yeah, it was actually, that was the alley oop. Like, all right, you take this song right here, boom. And if you notice, even in the video, we show more Monty than they do me. You know what I'm saying? Because it was supposed to be his record. Like, even when they named the song, I got I was pissed off. Like, they was like, Fetty Wap featuring Monty. I'm like, no, what the fuck is Monty featuring me? Like, that's not my song. Really? Yeah, so... When he jumped on the record, you know, the first thing I asked him, like, yo, can you just take my verse off and keep Monty up there and it just be let me be on the hook? Wait. Yeah. You asked Drake if he could take you off the record and keep your mans on. Yeah, it's like, take, just leave me on the hook, you know, like, baby, won't you come my way? Yeah. But leave Monty verse up there. You do your verse and let it be, you know, like, we work it like that. You know what I'm saying? So that way my mans could be, you know what I mean? My mans got, he, he on now. Like, he on. It, he don't. Once you get a record like that, you good. Like, you know what I'm saying? You you don't got to worry about shit else no more. You feel yeah. me? And when it came out, bro, that shit just came out on SoundCloud. And then when Monty Verse came out, I remember that shit. Like, even if you play the SoundCloud version right now, that should be like, uh, Monty would come on like, huh? Then be like, ding, ding. And then yeah, it just yeah. fades out. He's pretty much out on the record. And then I was just like. Wait, so he never sent it to you then? So he just put no. it out on SoundCloud? I want to say he did it, but I guess somebody from his camp did. I thought three hundred was just too cheap and wouldn't pay to fucking clear it. It's Drake. You no. gotta, you probably gotta pay. Even though he's he's doing, he's getting on your record. Like you know, just hearing what I I heard from like you know yeah. what Drake a Drake feature meant at that time. Mm -hmm. You even if he gets on your record, you're still paying him, and you still have to do certain shit with the record mm -hmm. to make yeah. sure they're compensated, right? Yeah. And I'm like, was 300 just too fucking stupid or didn't realize what it is? I mean, I don't know, man. Like, I didn't learn I didn't learn about the business until 2018. Like, that's when I started getting like, nah, what the fuck is going on? Like, Does Drake not say nothing to you? Like, yo, bro. Nah. Bro, I'm not. Yeah, bro, I'm going to keep it 100. I'm not, I'm not about to leave my I ever spoke to him. The first and last time I ever spoke to him, when he asked me to get on the song, that was it. I, never, he, I haven't even seen him in person yet. And he never, he, he didn't send it back to you. He just dropped it. Yeah. Did you did you ask, like, your label or did be like, yo, yo, we got to play catch up. Yo, nah, it was grab my the fault. shit. I'm telling you, it was my fault. Like, I, I, man, I DM'd him. I DM'd him. Like, I was like, yo, you know, my bad, bro. Like, I was, you know what I mean? I wasn't really thinking at that time. All I knew was my homies. Like, and I felt like, you know, you try to play me a little bit. Like, you know what I'm saying? But What you were you said at the time? Then? Yeah, I was mad as hell. I was mad, bro. Like, Monty, my brother, bro. Everybody know that. You know what I'm saying? Did like, you hit him up like, nigga, why, you played my nigga, bro. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I hit him up like that, but I definitely, like, you know, I was like, no, matter of fact, that was it, bro. I never talked to him again after that. You didn't like, reach out at all? Yeah, I reached out to him when I told him, like, yo, I reached out to him maybe, like, 2019. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I hit him, like, yo, whoa, whoa, like, you feel me? And nothing. You think he thought you were ungrateful? Probably, most likely. And then when I didn't put it on the album, yeah, so he was probably like, oh, who the fuck this nigga think he is? Like, <laughs> Oh, so you could have put it on that. I thought, I thought he didn't give you the rights to, I oh, thought no, that no, was no, fucked no. up. Yeah, no, I could have put it up there. Oh, so you just felt the way how it went down and you thought, man, I feel like you played Monty, so like I, I wasn't thinking about this record for me. And really all I had to do is just have my engineer take my verse off, put Monty up there, put in Monty feature and Drake, and then boom, that would have been it. At this point, though, because, you know, for some people, 
And obviously, you know, even though I'm a huge Drake fan, but still, some I'm people. I'm a Drake fan as well. Some people might look at it and be like, well, it, let's say if they don't know about Trap Queen, they're going to be like, well, that Drake verse put him on it. But at this point for you, right, you're not thinking like that, right? Nah. You so lit, you're like, Drake got to hop on this because this the hottest shit out, right? You're thinking like that. You yeah, I mean, that's how it happened. It wasn't It wasn't the other way around. Yeah. Like, I didn't really, at that time, let me make this clear, right? And I got to say it like this because people always miss my, like, my, fuck my words up. Like, at that time, I was the hottest person out. 2015, wasn't nobody bigger than me. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's that's pretty much what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was, when you turned the radio on, you heard my shit all day, every day. When you went outside and walked to the store, you heard my shit all day, every day. Like, it was, at that time, of that that era and time of music, it was Fetty Wap's time. Like, it was my time to shine. You know what I'm saying? And and it was just like, if you, if you being technical, nah, I didn't, I, I did, I did features with so many people, bro. I, I did the, I did David Guetta and Sia, uh, Fifth Harmony. I did the Return of the and Mac. The, and that was afterwards, though. Yeah, this so, is, so, 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 this was 2016. Yeah, that's 2016. Mm -hmm. But in 2015, going into 2016, mm -hmm. and, and I think even right before the Drake did, or it might be even meanwhile, yeah, one I mean. of my criticisms, I mentioned it right before we even start recording. Yo, I remember just watching on World Star. There was mad videos dropping. There was you and everybody in Jersey, and I kept saying yeah. to myself, "I said somebody's mis mismanaging Fetty because Fetty should be doing a song." I didn't have every a manager at that time. Was a knit manager of some sorts. I mean, he was supposed to be, but you know, like, you're supposed to be collabing with all the hot niggas, and I'm not saying you can't help your niggas from out from Jersey, mm -hmm. but it felt like anybody who paid you for a verse, like back in the day, it was just allowed to be dropped at that moment when uh, you're the hottest. I, I'm, honestly. People will tell you, bro. Like, people that worked with me back then, they'll tell you, bro. Like, I barely took money for features. Like, I ain't really, because nobody could afford me, bro. My features was $150,000. You got to look at it like that. Like, and you, so if somebody from Jersey hits you up, like, you in charge of? No. Nah. And you let them put the, like, the record out on sound? Like, well, it was uh, on, come, I was seen on World Star. I'm like, come like and I yo, see you in the video, and I'm like, what the fuck Fetty doing in the video? They come to me like, yo, wop, yo, I got like, I got like 5,000, I got like 10,000. Like, the most I got from a street nigga, like, uh, I ain't even going to say a street nigga. Like, from a random person, maybe, like, 40000 And really? I was, like, straight up, like, yo, I mean, if you could do the video, 20000 for the vid, 20000 for the verse. I'm like, I said, no more, I got you. Like, ain't about nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I, I put that shit up. Like, it was, I, I was a hustler, bro. Like, I wasn't, I, I didn't think about being famous. I just wanted to keep making money. You know what I'm saying? Like, in my mind, I already knew some shit was ending. Like, what do you mean? Like, to me, I, for everybody else, they was like, oh, he burnt himself out. For me, I was like, I didn't want to, I didn't really think I was going to be in here that long anyway. 